This is a, a fibroblastic cell. We've engineered these cells to express a um, green fluorescent protein mena, so it shows up in green, as well as red actin. And uh, what I'd like to point out are three structures that contain high levels of the mena protein. First, these structures, which are relatively stationary in the movie, those are cell matrix connections um, called focal adhesions. Um, the second is are the sheets of membrane that are being, being pushed out by actin assembly. And at the very front edge of the membrane, you see um, that there's a, a layer of green, a, a little ribbon of green. That's mena right at the protruding edge of the um, lamellipodium, the, the leading edge of the cell. And then finally, um, uh, you can see these uh, little rod-like protrusions. Those are called filopodia, and those are, are built also of actin, but the actin is organized differently. It's all bundled up into a rod-like structure, and you see the mena is uh, concentrated right at the tips of filopodia as they extend and explore their environment. This um, uh, test, this assay, has a, a far more uh, powerful predictive value than the currently used assays in the clinics. Um, and that's just by looking at um, uh, histological samples or tissue samples. What we imagine doing uh, in the future is developing tools to look at the different isoforms of MENA, which we feel would be even, even better um, predictors of clinical outcome and that um, one would be able to either analyze a small bit of tissue for the presence of the different amino isoforms or even better, um, detect them in a blood sample